Hi mga kapuyatars! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Von, ang kaagapay nyo sa Puyatan. And for today's video, I'll be giving my point of view and opinion about some of the myths, myths about the BPO or call center employees. So, ang mga taga BPO ba ay bobo? Hindi na ka traffic? Unhealthy yung lifestyle? These are the things that circulates around our society ng paniniwala nila ay ganito tayo or ganito yung mga taga BPO. So please watch until the end of the video so I'll be able to share with you my point of view and opinion about these things. Alright, so sabi ko nga kanina, I'll be giving my opinion and point of view sa mga uh, bagay na nagsi-circulate around our society about the BPO employees or call center employees. Now please, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button in the description field. You can also follow me on my social media account. I have my IG and Facebook. That's Mr. Kapoyater. Okay, so for today, I'll just give uh, the top five uh, myths about the BPO employees. So, first, ang mga taga BPO ba are no brain? Wala ba tayong isip? So, bang dali ba ng BPO? The answer is no. No, 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 no. Being in a BPO, you need to know everything. From being able to speak English, do an Excel, do an analytics, do PowerPoint, present in public, have stage presence because you need to talk to your client, and you need to have a good spirit, you have to have a positive outlook, like everything. You need to be an IT because you need to know how to fix your own computer if something goes wrong. You need to know how to troubleshoot and do the basic troubleshooting of your computer if it hangs, if it's slow down, if it's slowing. So guys, hindi lang po talaga nagsasalita ng English yung mga taga call center. Ibrang babaw po nun. If you notice, kung yung mga taga BPO are pang bobo lang, then we should have 100% employment rate in the Philippines. But see, ang daming hindi nakakapasok kasi sa recruitment pa lang, hindi nakakapasa ng versant. Versant, I'll discuss it with in a different video. Berlitz, I'll discuss it in a different video. My grammar tests, lahat pagdadaanan mo, technical tests. So kung wala kang alam nun, you can never be a call center employee. So mga hindi nakapasok dyan, ask yourselves. How good are you? Sa ibang industry, well, I know you hindi masyado nakapag-speak ng English sa ibang industry. But I know they have their own expertise. Kunwari, sa IT firm, they are expert in terms of IT and programming or whatever is their specific field. If, it's, if you're in a bank, you're an accountant, or related field. To us, you need to be everything. You need to have knowledge in everything. So it's not easy. Plus, nasisigawan ka pa ng mga customer mo. So guys, change na that mindset. Hindi totoo yun. Okay? Cool. Hindi ako na ipag-away. No. Peace style. Alright. Number two. Hindi nakaka-experience ng traffic. O sana oil. ba? Guys, BPO is not just pang gabi. Hindi lang talaga siya pang graveyard shift. 24-7 kami. So may pang umaga, pang gabi, pang hapon. Because we are customer service. We have technical support. We have chat support, email support, back office. Everything is actually in the BPO. So kung pasok mo pang umaga, paano ka hindi makaka-experience ng traffic? Ano? Lumipad? 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 Diba? Huwag masyadong makitid yung utak. Pareho tayong nakatira sa Pilipinas. So kung ano yung na-experience nyo as a regular employee in a different corporate world, it's the same experience that we have in the BPO industry or in a call center. So it's a tie. Okay? Third, 
unhealthy lifestyle. Hmm. Paano ba? Me personally, as much as I could, I try to be as healthy as possible. I'll try, I try to eat as healthy as possible. Pero siguro dito na part, medyo mag-agree ako at a certain extent. But I'd say it's not all. Uh, maybe because yung nakikita lagi ng mga tao sa society are nag yung mga call center agents. Tapos yosi coffee, yosi coffee, yosi coffee. Yun lang yung routine. <coughs> medyo totoo. Uh, maybe because, guys, we only have 15 minute break. And when you go down to de-stress yourself with everything that you delf delf Ew, sorry, dealt, uh, dealt with, dealt with, dealt with, um, kailangan mo magwagwag, magwalwal, magpagpag, I'm sorry, magpagpag pala. And with that, sa 15 minute may, ano ba magagawa mo? So, normally, coffee na lang, pero mainitan yung chan, then, uh, Yossi. Pero I think if they have a better choice, I don't think that they'll go for that. Unless you are already a chain smoker, or you really are a smoker. So it doesn't matter if you're in a BPO. You can also be in a different society or in a different corporate world. A lot of them nagyoyosi din. So hindi totoo yun. And most of us, if not all, nagjo-gym. Uh, may mga vegetarian din ako nga kilala. Nagdo-diet. So it's not about the industry. It really depends on the person as to what your priority are. Pag medyo nagkakasakit ka na, naging diabetic ka na, of course, you'll change your lifestyle. So it's not about the industry you work for. It's about you and how you take care of your health. Alright? Number four. Lahat ng nagab BPO industry are rich. No, it's not true. Hindi po totoo talaga. I am a living testimony that I came from the province. I'm a farmer person. So, naghirap din ako. And until now, hindi naman ako well off. So, whatever I'm buying, whatever I'm eating, if I'm traveling, that's because I work hard for it. It's a hard-earned money. It's not because meron akong pera from my parent at meron akong malaking savings sa bank. No, it's not true. So, hindi po talaga. Feeling rich lang pa social because sometimes they, uh, a lot of the BPO industry can afford to buy the trend or to go with the trend because I think that's their um, rewards to themselves. Kasi ang hirap po talaga sa BPO guys, hindi po siya madali. Um, so reward mo na yun, magpapaspa ka, magpapamassage ka, you travel. That's part of your distressing. So please don't judge us. Don't judge us. Okay. Fifth and last. Yung taga BPO are taga pick lang ng phone at taga sagot lang ng phone. At nakasad yan mga kapoyaters because hindi po ta talaga totoo yun. Um, it's just that with the business, phone is the method of communication. But hindi po lang talaga phone. Meron ding chat, meron email, meron ding mga IT department, meron mga IT naghawak ng mga major projects, meron A uh, connect to HR. Ang dami. Lahat ng corporate world na meron sa society natin, I think most of them nasa BPO na. So, hindi lang po talaga kami taga pick up ng phone and say, hello, thank you for calling. Sobrang old school po yan na uh, impression. And I really wish a lot of you guys would try to go to a recruitment and just try. I just really want you guys to try and have that feel of the BPO industry. And you'll know, you'll know na BPO uh, employees are superhero. And we are what we call and what they call immortals. Kasi kahit bagyo, buti nga sa government employees, pag sinabing suspended yung klase ng mga esodyante, suspended din yung work. Sa ibang corporate, they can actually decide to close the office hours. Kung kami, bagyo, ulan, init, traffic, everything. Hanggat hindi ka pa lumulubog, kahit may sakit ka, you still need to go to work. That's how dedicated we are in the industry. So please don't judge us. No, but ah, uh, sasabi ko pa, hindi po totoo din na like every one of us, there are people din na bulok sa industriyang ginagalawan namin sa BPO. But I think just the same as any other corporate world in any other industry, hindi talaga nagiging perfect. So kung meron meron kayong challenge, meron kayong sariling stress, 
uh, meron kayong strength sa industry nyo, it's the same way in the BPO. So, please, um, ako personally, two thumbs up sa mga tao na nagtatrabaho sa industry ng BPO. Not because I'm working in the same industry, but I know the feeling, I know the field, and it's not easy. Alright? So, I hope sa mga taga hindi, uh, taga, hindi taga call center uh, industry, uh, I hope may natutunan kayo ng konte about um, kung ano yung totoo at hindi totoo sa BPO industry or sa call center industry. So I hope you guys learned a little for today. Thank you again for thank you again for watching. Please subscribe if okay lang. You have a good one and see you guys again next time.